I'm Alan Coors. For many years, I've enjoyed studying and collecting military rifles. Their design, use, and place in history are fascinating to me. And here is a real treasure from the collection of the National Firearms Museum, a Mondragon semi-automatic 7mm rifle. One of the earliest attempts at a successful military semi-automatic rifle, it was invented in the late 1800s by a Mexican general named Manuel Mondragon. It was adopted by the Mexican Army in models of 1900, 1908, and 1915. It's a gas-operated semi-automatic rifle with a long-stroke piston. It's capable of being fired in single-shot mode and uh, was very accurate. It was used as a sniper rifle. Full automatic versions were also introduced. The standard magazine is the eight round magazine, but it was also manufactured with 20 round magazines and a uh, 30 round helical magazine and a 100 round drum for some of the full auto versions. It was adopted by the militaries of at least a dozen different countries and was manufactured in Mexico, France, Japan, and Austria. Probably the best known uh, manufacturer of these was at the SIG plant in Switzerland that had the original contract for the Mexican Army. However, that contract was interrupted by the Mexican Revolution. And in 1915, Germany purchased the remaining SIG-made Mondragons for uh, use in World War I. The action proved a bit sensitive to wet, muddy condition in the trenches, although it proved to be a fine rifle in arid conditions but it did find a fascinating use in the German military as a arm for aircraft personnel before the widespread introduction of machine guns in airplanes. That's because Germany adopted the Mondragon as the flyer's self-loading carbine model of 1915. And it served in that capacity throughout World War I as a rifle used in aerial combat by the men in the rear seat of a German airplane or in an observation balloon who would shoot at opposing British and American aircraft. In fact, many of the rifles used in this capacity had a bracket screwed into the stock on the left side of the receiver. A wire birdcage-like basket was attached to these brackets and the basket covered the rifle's receiver and prevented ejected spent cartridge cases from tearing through the fabric-covered frame of the airplane or the observation balloon. You're witnessing firearms history at its finest. It's another of the amazing stories you'll find every day at the National Firearms Museum.